good afternoon to everybody and thank you to your organizer for accepting my paper. Um, I'm a Roman archaeologist. Actually, I arrived in Rome several years ago, uh, and now I excavate in Rome in the historical city center, and I'm also a tour guide. So after more than 10 years of residence in town, I started asking myself, uh, how does the touristic ticketing managing system of the entire uh, archaeological um, environment heritage is um, seen, <coughs> perceived, and used by our institution. <coughs> well, I entered a total chaos and uh, uh, the end of my research that I already spoiled, so that you can at least uh, follow a little bit, is uh, there are two different uh, um, concepts and ideas in town. I first of all started, uh, listed, I dealt only with sites and museums in town, archaeological museum and sites. And I listed more than 220 uh, sites and museums just in the town of Rome. Not even including the surrounding beside the one which is Ostia, which is a big archaeological park. Uh, it used to be the harbor of the city of Rome. It's still within the municipality of Rome, so it's part of the city itself. Um, out of uh, these 222 uh, sites, uh, I started checking uh, um, the ownership uh, according uh, related to the management of the site. Uh, the heritage in Italy is entirely uh, um, preserved by the Italian state, of course. Then the management uh, uh, can be still uh, be carried out by the state, but it can be also given to other institutions. Um, we had a broad reformation of the uh, state offices in charge of the preservation and management of Italy, and now in Rome we have eight state offices in charge of uh, the management of different sites plus the municipality of Rome in charge of almost the half of these 2020 sites which are still belonging to the state but run by the municipality. So it, it's rather complicated and uh, crumbled. Once I decided to list uh, all the sites, uh, I also realized that uh, uh, there isn't uh, a common idea on uh, which is the minimum in uh, listing all the sites. So for instance, uh, um, I have uh, seven archaeological parks uh, which are under the same ticket, each one of these, but uh, within this archaeological park you have uh, a broad amount of uh, different specific uh, archaeological building sites or whatever. Conversely, the municipality of Rome lists each every single building as a different uh, uh, place to be visited. In total, out of these 220 sites, we have seven parks, as I told. Uh, we have more than 48 sites, which means many buildings of different phases. Then we have 100 specific buildings, temples, um, um, civic places, uh, uh, squares, uh, whatever, and uh, uh, 31 uh, um, urban elements, the walls, the aqueducts, all those places that you don't specifically need uh, to exhibit because they are already apparent and you don't even need to assess to 
be able to see them. Um, out of this, I decided to check whether they were opened or not. And luckily, we have more than two thirds of the sites which are open. 36% uh, of those open, it means uh, 79 places, grazie, but I will be really short, don't worry. Uh, 49 sites are open after calling the institution, and then either you have a private um, legal association coming for a little amount of money to open the site for you, or the state calls a guardian who is coming to open to you. And uh, uh, 66 are those sites which are always closed, either because they are under renovation, because they are not safe, because the state uh, decided, and some of the time, luckily, they even stated, they decided that they are not meant to be open to the public. They are not meaningful, whatever. Um, and out of this 138 sites, which are always open, I finally end up to check the cost of the tickets. Uh, half of them, 63 of 138, are for free. So, 228. 220 are the visiting, visitable sites in Rome. 138 are always open. 63 are always free to everybody. Just the rest, which is 59 sites, are places where you need to pay a ticket if you want to enter. And the tickets never exceed 50 euros. Now I'm talking of the adult ticket. Mm -hmm. Uh, I went uh, yesterday to Casa Batlo. It was 28.50 euro. And that's a house, so it's not a park, it's not a site, it's a single building. The archaeological park of the Colosseum cost 12 euros. Um, I'm not saying that the Colosseum has a right strategy. I'm just giving you two different elements to compare. Um, and at this point, uh, there's something which strikes me a lot. Uh, I already very briefly told you that uh, there were two different ways in listing for the state uh, buildings and for the municipal ones. At this point, the strategies of these two institutions working in Rome totally disagrees and goes one for global and the other one for local. The state uh, tries uh, to be totally democratic with two kinds of tickets, one for the adult, half for the, uh, youngs uh, in between 18 and uh, 26, and for free under 18. This is the only policy, plus a Sunday for free to everybody, to everybody, no matter where you come from, mm -hmm. how long you stay in town, which is your aim or whatever. The cost of the ticket of the state never exceed 14 euros. There is just one um, site, Santangelo's Castle, which costs 14 euros and is visited every year by 1.2 million <coughs> The Coliseum is 12 euros and is visited by 7 million people. The Pantheon, which is a Roman temple converted in a, a Christian church, and now is both a church and a monument, 
is visited every year by 9 million people, is for free, and we are just debating whether to enter a ticket of two euros. Two. And people are disagreeing. Municipality has a totally different strategy. Ticket for visitors, external, ticket for residents. Tickets for visitors are a little bit higher than the state tickets. So the museums and the sites in charge of the municipality can reach 15 euros. But we are talking of no more than seven museums because the rest of the archaeological sites and the municipality are for free. The most visited municipal site are the Capitoline mm -hmm. Museums. So they cost 15 euros per year. They might cost uh, 13 euros for me and be for free one Sunday a uh, year, a uh, month since I'm a woman resident. They are visited by 430,000 people a year. Another site under the municipality, which is visited every year by 70,000 people, is for free. Mm -hmm. um, India, what happens? There are two different cities and two different strategies. Two different cities in, ter in terms that uh, the most visited uh, sites, uh, most visited in, in all around Italy are in the specific city center of Rome, which is totally globalized. The rest of the sites uh, in the territory around, most of the time, are for free, if not even closed. And they don't reach none of those numbers that you can reach in the city center. Two different strategies, and in the end, two different cities, though still inside the same town. Um, I found interesting uh, to uh, talk about this uh, issue in this, in this uh, specific section, exactly because no result in terms of a solution, but uh, global and local are working, not cooperating clearly, in the same environment, and we are not talking about very little place, but one of the most archaeologically visited and populated sites in the world. Thank you.